Hey guys, Beast here, and I uh, want to kind of go over just a quick and easy way to sort of refresh older phones. Um, this is a LG G3, had this thing for years, don't really have a reason to upgrade. Um, I don't own anything for the phone, I don't have a plan, I can cancel at any time. Um, if you upgrade your phone, most of the time during plans, at least I've got Sprint, you're going to get forced into another two-year contract. That doesn't really sound that great to me because I'd like the ability to be able to just walk away at any point. And it's done its purpose. I've had a phone. It works great. I've got an international plan, so I can use it all over the world. There isn't really a reason for me to look for the newer one. Now, this is a three. I think there's a six out now, so I'm, what, three generations behind in several years. Um, but it still works great. One of the things I... Um, I don't like about it is uh, well, I, I don't really carry a big case because this thing fits perfectly in uh, the pockets that I use in the F or 511 pants. Um, so I, I hate big cases because there's a reason you don't want bulky phones. I don't know. All right, now coming in close, you can see definitely a lot of scratches. This thing's been fumbled and dropped and shoved in bags and all over the world. Um, one of the things is it doesn't really take that great of photos anymore, and it's because it's kind of got this haziness to it. It's not extremely clear. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this thing apart, and for $7, we got this, uh, what is it, the, well, it says made in China. Um, it's simply the glass cover and switch assembly. Now, keep in mind, this is going to avoid your warranty if you do this uh, sort of work. But as you can tell by this phone, uh, it is not a completely sealed phone. It's quite easy to uh, get in. In fact, if you drop it, usually they fall all apart. Um, some of the newer phones are sealed to give you better waterproofness. Therefore, you can't get to the battery. So a couple things, you can't upgrade your battery. When your battery starts, you know, limping down the road, you guys want to upgrade your phone because it's not holding a charge and somehow you justify that to yourself. And I've done it myself uh, that you need a new phone. But um, for about 20 bucks, you can pick up a new battery. So I like these because you got expandable memory. You can change those out. And again, two little screws here, and we're going to swap that out so we can get some nice crisp photos again. And again, if I used a case, perhaps I get a little more life out of it. But six bucks every two years is a pretty good cost for um, not having to deal with the cumbersome case every day. All right, there, if I kind of hold it up, it's not dirty, it's just kind of hazed over. See all the micro scratches coming in and out of pockets. It'll focus there, there we go. So what we're gonna do is just swap this over. All right, now we've got one more thing to address and that's the, uh, the battery that's not really holding a full charge anymore. Um, it goes down very quickly. I am using it more intensely um, on trips, you know, watching movies, lots of apps, navigation. I've got maps trying to find different places in weird countries. And um, yeah, so 3000 milliamps isn't really holding up anymore. I could do a direct replacement. And if anyone can contradict themselves in the same video, it'll be me. Um, what I decided to do, I just got done talking about how I like this phone, how thin it was, and uh, see if she'll focus. Here's the one we're replacing it with. It's basically a 6,000 milliamp. Um, so it's double the capacity, double the thickness as well. So what we're gonna have to do is this will slide right in, and then we're gonna have to replace it with a slightly thicker cover on the back. Now, the other reason I thought about doing this is that acts as sort of a, a case or a protectant for that camera lens that we just replaced. And in fact, there is a big soft sort of rubbery foam thing uh, that I can try to put on here, but this will be... All right, got that guy in there. Nice snug fit, actually. Uh, this is Tothel technology. I'll put a link for what this was. It was 20 some dollars. So case is going back on. Um, it definitely adds a little bit of thickness to the... Uh, of course, as you can tell, this thing's pretty dirty. Uh, maybe we'll see if we can get that cleaned up as well. But uh, let's focus you up here. All right, there you go. You can tell by the profile, we're definitely thicker <laughs> at the battery. Um, I'm hoping that'll give me a little bit of buffer for just the actual uh, protection for that. We'll pull off the little protective cover. 
and we'll go check it out. Go take some photos, maybe we'll do a quick comparison real quick. So let's talk about why you would do that. Why you would spend thirty some dollars refreshing an older phone that works perfectly well. Well, really, I'm trying to get that mindset of going around the world. And yes, it'd be nice to go watch the newest movie of whatever that just came out. But that sixteen dollars, whatever that twenty dollars, if you remind yourself, that's a that's a gas tank going through Bolivia. You know, that's the hostel that you needed on this super nasty day coming through Peru. Um, that's the mindset I'm trying to put myself in right now. I don't want to spend things that I don't need to. This phone works perfectly fine. I just need to refresh it and hopefully this bigger battery will give me a little bit more freedom when I'm looking for places on the road. So this has been Beast. Catch you guys down the road. Let me know what you think. Like it, comment, subscribe. Hey guys, just want to give you a huge thank you for the continued support that you always give me. Uh, we'll be putting out more content as always, everything from the high Arctic down to Antarctica and everywhere in between for our adventures on two wheels. Uh, we'll catch you down the road. Thanks again, guys.